do you freak out when you take your kids to mass and people look at you or make comments, especially like come up to you afterwards and make negative comments? Well, today I want to talk about taking kids to mass. I'm specifically going to talk about taking kids to daily mass because this is just the experience that's bubbled up for me recently. But I think a lot of what I'm going to say could apply to taking your kids to Sunday mass. So went to daily mass the other day. Usually there aren't a ton of kids. There was a mom there. She brought her four kids. They were all pretty young. One, maybe a little less than one to nine. I don't know. And the baby was really loud. Not crying, though, which was funny. Like, I think when our babies cry, it's really obvious. Like, oh, I'll take them to the back. This baby was just, like, being loud. Just baby noises. And I could – I actually have no idea what the mom thought. I have no idea if anybody said anything to her. But I remember sitting there thinking, I hope everyone's really nice to her. I'm so impressed that she came because I was there with my husband, right? So I was there with our six kids, but my husband was there. And that I hope as a community, we continue to say very loudly, bring children to mass. And I could tell the lady in front of me was like slightly annoyed, like the baby would scream and she'd like tense up a little bit. That's totally fine. I'm not saying you have to love it, you know, but And again, I have no idea if anyone said anything to her. But if that lady went up to her and was like, listen, you really need to do something about your baby. Okay. If someone says that to you, one, I think you should have a a response prepared so you don't feel stressed. Be like, if you take kids to mass and someone has snarky things to say to you, what is the very like holy response that you want to have to them? I would probably say, I'm sorry that she was disruptive. I really value coming to mass though. And I have to bring my kids without my husband because he works. And, you know, I hope that, you know, you understand that we're going to keep coming to mass and the baby's just going to be a baby. Isn't it beautiful that we have this, this gift of daily mass, right? Something like that. Not even sarcastic, not even cutting. I would mean it. I would be like, I am sorry that my baby was loud and that you didn't have as peaceful as an experience as you wanted. I would be sorry about that. But I'd be like, I'm still going to come. And it's pretty cool that we have the sacraments. So that's going to keep happening. So I did text that mom later. And I just said, oh, I think it's amazing. They're bringing the kids to mass. And I said, if more moms would bring their kids to daily mass and not be afraid of someone giving them sass, I think we would see religious vocations explode. And not necessarily that like you're bringing your kids and then they're going to become religious, but just in general, I think if mom started going to daily mass more, I mean, because one of the reasons we don't go to daily mass with little kids is it's hard to wrangle them. And then people like give you sharp looks and say not nice things. So I'm not saying you have to do it. Okay. I'm a big fan of like protecting myself and staying home. And I did not go to daily mass very often without my husband. There were like a couple seasons where I tried, but not very many. And my kids are pretty packed tightly together. But if you've been feeling the inkling to go and the only reason you're not going is because of the looks of the old ladies or their comments, I want to encourage you to go anyway. And if you're in mass and you see a mom struggling with a baby, I want you to affirm her after mass. I'm proud of you. Good job. Bring the children. This is important. Don't listen to old ladies. All right? Jesus wants us to feel welcome at Mass. And again, I'm not pressuring you to go to Mass, daily Mass. But if the only reason you're not doing it is because of the comments, prepare a response and go. Just go. They don't own it. They're not entitled to a baby-free daily mass experience. They can take it up with the Lord. All right. I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for listening, and have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Catholic Mom Mindset. To learn more about growing closer to the Holy Spirit, check out our free resources at madeforgreatness.co. Thank you so much for listening, and have a blessed day.